Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise Master Jesus. The Lord bless you all family in the name of Jesus. This new prophetic word title says this is about the money you loan from the bank. Hallelujah. This is about the money you loan from the bank and your bank account is about to, to vibrate. Hallelujah. This is not a prophetic word that you will just watch and leave it halfway. This is a prophetic word that you need to listen from the beginning to the end in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are just coming across this particular channel for your very first time, maybe you were just scrolling, you come across this post and you're seeing this young face before you, by the help of the Holy Spirit, I cannot do it on my own. God has been helping me to bring us prophetic word for us to pray together. Become my friend, my prayer partner as you're joining, you're connecting, you're liking, you're sharing in the name of Jesus. Please, um, I go down on my knees to beg someone to subscribe. Please subscribe. I love you so much, family. Wherever you're watching, God bless you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing, family, all over the world. Thank you for sharing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know there are some people that they will say, I will not share. Please, even if it is to tell people that look at a young boy that has dedicated his life for God. Look at the, a young boy that, that has dedicated his life to encourage people with the things of God. At least share it. May the Lord bless you all as you're sharing in the name of Jesus. This particular prophetic word is talking about the loan and the bank and your bank account is involved. I'm seeing a bank, I'm seeing a loan, and I'm seeing your bank account. Hallelujah. One, this bank here is where you have gone to request for money. Hallelujah. And you know that the purpose of you requesting this money is very serious and urgent. But one thing I want you to ask yourself face concerning this loan is that what you're about to invest. Have you checked it? Have you prayed over it and you have received approval from God that you should loan this money and invest on? Secondly, I saw uh, a transaction, a money transaction that is about to happen through this same loan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I saw a transaction. You know, actually, what I'm seeing is not physical. Hallelujah. I'm seeing something spiritual. There are people that loan money. The moment they loan money, they, they do some things behind just for you not to pay back that money. There are some people that always sell money privately. I don't know how they call them. Is it money lender? Somebody will tell you, I will give you one million US dollar, 100,000 US dollar. You are going to give me your document. You are going to give me this. You are going to give me this. If in the space of two months you, you, you don't pay, I will collect your document. I will collect this particular thing. Just imagine you kept your house or a plot of land. And maybe the person loaning this money to you knows that he is in need of that house and that plot of land. He can go extra mile to do anything just for you not to refund and pay back the money so that the agreement, hallelujah, can backfire against you. Hallelujah. So when you come to loan, to loan money is not just to get up one day, just go and loan money. I quite remember one upon a time, Back home, I loaned some money. They didn't tell me all the rules and regulations. When I loaned the money, I started hearing some type of statement. If I was not sensitive and spiritual enough, I kept the document of something that, that was very, very precious to me. If I was not spiritually sensitive enough, I could have lost that particular thing just because I needed to loan money. So, child of God, therefore, this particular prophetic word today is a warning to you Hallelujah. I'm seeing a bank account. I'm seeing a loan. It's about the money you loan. There are times in life that some disappointment are blessing. Maybe you are believing God for a loan. You request it. The loan seems not to come. Listen to me. At time God says no to the loan because God wants to prepare you for something great. At time God says no to the loan because God wants to open another way. God knows that if they give you that loan, something might happen. I have seen people that take loan. They invest on a particular business and along the line, the business collapse and they start regretting that if I have known, I, I couldn't have loaned the money. So there are times that God sees, God sees the end from the beginning and for the sake of our good heart, then God will say no to this. When God is saying no, many a time we are seeing no as if God hates us, wanting not all storms, not all delay, not all temptation and trials come from the devil. Hallelujah. The temptation, the storm that stopped Jesus, that fought Jesus, 
on his way to Gadara, it was to prove to Jesus that you are on the track. Praise Master Jesus. The fish that swallowed Jonah, hallelujah, was to save the life of Jonah. There are some no in your life that are yes in the realms of the Spirit. I'm led by the Spirit of God because I saw a negative and evil money transaction. I saw someone investing money on a business that, that is not your money. Like you took this money, you invested on a business, and the business never produced, produced well. But I want to pray. The Bible said the man of five multiply. That little you have. Hallelujah. I don't know wherever you are watching me. Just take two seconds, dip your hands on your pocket and get a coin. Hallelujah. Get a coin. There are people that don't always watch our prophetic word from the beginning to the end. If you watch this word at this particular point of time, I want you to, to type it at the comment section, I got a coin. I got the money. I got the currency. Type anything. Hallelujah. That I got a currency. Hold the currency of any nation where you are watching me. Hold a currency. I myself am holding a, a, a currency. I myself am holding a, a currency right now. Hallelujah. I want to stand in agreement with each and everyone. This is the currency. You might not show me. I don't want you to see what I'm holding, but I know I'm holding a currency and this currency represents the land of which I am living and this currency can hear me and this currency can manifest. I want us to pray. The Bible says I will restore to you the years. The caterpillar, the canker worm has eaten. Hallelujah. The caterpillar, the canker worm have eaten. They have eaten your years. They have eaten your money. Everybody, if you're ready, say, man of God, I'm holding a currency. As I see your comment, I will know that you watch this word. This prophetic word from the beginning to the end. Hallelujah. You are going to lift it up above your head. This is a prophetic word. I stand in agreement to pray with somebody. I don't know the difficulties of which you are passing through. The Bible says the man of one buried. The man of two multiplied to four. The man of five multiplied to ten. If the man of one could have multiplied to two, God could have blessed that man for more. Hallelujah. So there are some people that has become like devil and devourer. They just want to bury our money. They just want to sit on our money. But the Bible says, who is that one that will speak a word upon your life and it come to pass? I stand under this great commission and I declare and I decree. Anyone holding a currency, I speak to that currency. Let that, the currency you are holding, hear the voice of the Lord. As from today, your life will not remain the same. I rebuke the devourer that has been fighting to eat your money. I rebuke the devourer. I rebuke the devourer. I rebuke the devourer for in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. If you were blessed or oh, this prophetic word and this life was, God was a blessing to you, please tap the share button. Share it to someone. Remember, the blessing and the salvation of someone also out there lies on your share button. As you're sharing, God bless you, family. I love you so, so much. Thank you for coming. May the God, may the blessings of the Lord that make rich and add no sorrow. Let that same blessing make you rich and add no sorrow upon your life. For in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Thank you for connecting with us. If you were blessed, you're saying, man of God. Oh my God, for this prophetic word and this prayer, I want to sow a seed. Hallelujah. Look on your phone. You are going to see some dollar sign button. Tap the dollar sign button. You can connect through ZA, through Super Tans, through Super Chat. You are saying, man of God, I want to connect with the seed. As you're connecting, God bless you. If you're using PayPal, oh my God, God bless you. The PayPal link is on this platform. As you're tapping this ministry page, you are going to see the PayPal link. That is the PayPal account. That is the only way you can bless and support this ministry financially. If you receive any message or any email, any call from any man asking for money for prayer, he says, come. Pastor Bazi will never do that. God bless you. I love you all, family. I am here every day bringing us fresh words from God. I love you, family. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen.